Kevin Durant is one of the biggest stars in pro basketball history. He is definitely one of the top small forwards of today and is going into free agency this offseason. Now, as a huge Durant and Toronto Raptors fan, I really like the idea that Kevin Durant has at least a possible chance coming to the Toronto Raptors. So, in the, but this video, we're going to be giving five reasons Toronto will get Kevin Durant and one reason why he won't. All right, reason number one is mostly a troll thing. It's just a funny uh, coincidence, I'm guessing. But Kevin Durant did a little thing on a ESPN, and you can see it on the ESPN app. And it's, quote, I respect the fans here. It's a huge decision. I just want some time to decompress and think about the season. I'm really trying to make sure I tie up everything properly and make the right decision for me. Now, if you go back to one of his first sentences, he says, decompress. Kyle Lowry said decompress after game two at halftime and against the Cavs. Coincidence? I think not. So that's reason number one. Again, it's kind of a funny the thing. But lots of the more serious ones. Oh, that was a nice bat on the back. Um, number one number two is Drake. Drake could be the biggest thing that the Raptors have. He's either really big on the free agency and helps him out a lot over the years, or he'll be kind of an insignificant factor. But we're going to keep him as a big option here, as the global ambassador doesn't even show up to most of the games. And yeah, he could be pulling for Durant to come here, and he's already called him out. You could Number three is... He grew up a Vince Carter fan. We have option four. Their uniforms are probably the best in the league. I know that's like a kind of small thing, but I mean, it's, it's still a thing. Five is the competition would be a lot easier in the East. Now, obviously, LeBron James is still the Cavs. But if you think about it, especially with the possibility of Hassan Whiteside moving away, the East is only a really a uh, top two to four, only two or four elite teams. While in the West, there's a ton of top teams. You could the Warriors, the Thunder, the Spurs, the Clippers, who all have great talent. And there's more. If you come to the East, it's definitely a lot easier. And especially with Toronto ranking both tenth and uh defense and offense so you come here you get on a good team and you're automatic you're the star and you have two two awesome backcourt and you have the probably the best backcourt and you have the probably one of the few up-and-coming centers in JV and you don't even have to guard the best player you get Damari do that so you're just sitting there, you work offensively, you get your shots, and then Damari plays your defense like he was doing for DeRozan. And that's kind of, I mean, it's really simple. Um, and But, well, now you got to go to the one reason why it's not going to happen, and that's cap space. Now, even though the huge TV deal is coming, Toronto is already having to spend a lot, definitely, with uh, DeRozan. He's estimated like $25 million, uh this year. And they're also going to spend a little on Biombo, who, even though he says he's taking a hometown discount, I mean, we don't know how much that's worth, and it's still going to be terrifically hard to keep both of them here as it is. And to also add Durant, would, we would have to more than likely go into luxury tax. But I'm not saying it's impossible. What we could be doing is we could do a we could find us somehow to get Ter Terrence Ross or and Patrick Patterson out while tr resigning Biombo and Kevin Durant and uh, DeRozan that could work out and then you have the probably the best starting lineup in all of history with Damari Carroll Kevin Durant. 
JV, Biombo, not Biombo, <laughs> um, DeRozan and Kyle Lowry. So, I mean, if you if you trade them away for people that don't cost a lot, and I mean, Masai is a genius. She could probably find some people that don't cost a lot, and still they'd be pretty good role players. You get those people that don't cost a lot, and then afterwards, you're at least if you even if you don't get any really good talent. I mean, you could you're still. As long as you don't trade these guys away, you can still keep Corey Joseph. You're still got Norman Powell. You might have Biombo if you get him back. You st and then you can also develop Noguera, uh, Caboclo, Daylon Wright, and I mean you still have the ninth and twenty seventh pick in the draft. So you still have talent there in the back backups, but it would just be very tough on Masai. And the GM to even think about um, signing him and keeping everybody. So that's my reasons why Kevin Durant will come and why he won't come. And how to deal with the cap space, at least in my opinion, it's not the perfect opinion. It's not even close. I'm pretty sure it still wouldn't work somehow. But it's just there to, to at least serve as a reference. Bring hope to Toronto. I mean, if they get this, I mean, who knows? They could go in and try and break the Warriors record. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something to see? One season after the Warriors break the Bulls record, Toronto signs Kevin Durant and then goes on 70, what would it be, 74 and 8? Wouldn't that be something to see? Uh, it's just like hypothesis. I mean, it's still going to be quite difficult for Toronto to keep Biombo. And the Rosen, but I mean it's possible. You just have to have to wait and see. Free agency is tough. I mean, but more than likely you'll probably stay with the Thunder. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have any more of these type of videos that you want to see me do, like maybe five reasons why Biombo will sign, or five reasons why LeBron will leave Cleveland again if he doesn't win, just uh. Hit, hit me up, put it in the comment section below, and if you got for any ideas, or just say, hey, you're wrong. I hate this video because you're wrong. You, you don't know a thing about basketball. I mean, gosh dang. That'd be kind of ruthless, but I mean, it's, I, mean I, don't know, I wouldn't mind. I really don't care. I just leave it anyway. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, just comment down below. Hit like, subscribe if you're new, please. I, I, I really want you to subscribe. Like, I really, really, I really want you to subscribe. Please subscribe, because I want you to. I will, I will murder your kids if you don't. This is, this is true. Oh, okay, anyway guys, uh, thank you for, uh, watching. It just, uh, I'll, and I'll see you guys in the next video.